Uh, hi, my name is Ian Glassby from Performance Fitness. Um, today I'm going to be showing you a barbell complex. And what that is is a chain of exercises that you do without setting the barbell down. These are good um, for times when you're short on time, um, for doing cardio to get your heart rate up, or you can just use it as a warm-up um, to kind of get your whole body uh, warmed up and ready to go instead of using cardio equipment. What I'm going to talk about first are the different exercises we'll be doing and specific form points about them. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, an example set of the exercise. The first exercise that's part of the complex is uh, a stiff leg deadlift. Um, important points for that, you want to keep your back flat, push your hips out as you're holding the barbell. Lower the bar to about shin level, uh, back flat, butts out, and a slight break in your knees. And then just drive your hips forward and come to a comfortable stop at the top. You want to be just straight up and down, no real hard leaning back. Again, stiff leg deadlift. The next exercise is bent over row. You're going to do that right after the deadlifts and you're going to stay in this position. And from here, you just want to pull the barbell right up to your belly button. Think about driving your elbows to the ceiling. The next exercise after rows is going to be a barbell clean. From here, you're going to be at the finished position of your row and you're going to extend your hips, shrug your shoulders, and pull your elbows high as the barbell comes around and rests right at your collarbone. So that's going to look like this. Once you finish with the cleans, the next exercise is a front squat. You've already got the barbell racked up here on your, on your shoulders. You're just going to tighten your abs, push your hips back, and squat down as far as you can. Come back up. You want to try to keep yourself as upright as possible and try to limit forward bend on this one. One other point with the squat, make sure that your knees stay tracking over your toes the entire time and don't bow inwards as you go down. Once you're finished with front squats, the next exercise is the overhead press. Now this is the most challenging of the group, so this is what you're going to use to set your weight um, because you'll, limit it, you'll be limited by this exercise. With the overhead press, you're going to start in this position just like you were out of the front squat. Flex your butt and keep your abs tight and you're going to drive the barbell straight up overhead. You want to make sure that everything's lined up. The barbell should be directly over your head, not out in front and not way behind. The final exercise of the complex is going to be the back squat. So from here you'll already be finishing the overhead. You're going to carefully lower the bar back behind your shoulders. Um, rest it kind of right across the top of your traps in the back of your shoulders. And then we're going to perform a back squat. Back squat's the same as a front squat in terms of you want to start with your hips, keep your knees tracking over your toes, make sure you keep your abs braced. I'm going to go ahead and run through one for you. Um, you want to choose a weight that you can do about six to, six to ten reps with. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions or would like further instruction, come see us at Performance Fitness 
or schedule a free consultation by calling 325-5455.